Hey there, True Value Nation. Today, I wanna to talk to you about our Howla Boom Lift. This is probably one of our best rental items. So first things first, you wanna make sure you unhook yourself from the vehicle. You can damage this by uh, leaving your vehicle hooked up because it'll actually lift up the back end when you put out the outriggers on it. So make sure you're unhooked from the vehicle before you do anything. Next, you wanna make sure after you've unhooked from the vehicle and set your parking brake, you wanna unhook these latches. There's one located right by the control panel and the other one is right up at the front here. There's so many uses for this machine. Uh, a lot of times people use it for tree removal, for painting, changing light fixtures, uh, light bulbs, uh, things that you couldn't reach with a ladder or um, just don't feel safe on a ladder. You're a little bit safer when you're inside this basket um, with a harness and, and stuff like that. Once you got everything set, the first thing you wanna do is walk around the whole perimeter and make sure that everything's clear and out of the way of the outriggers. Um, you also wanna be on level ground. You don't want more than a 10 degree. Pull the stop button out, flip it over to the trailer, and you'll click auto level extend. And once we get the legs extended, I can show you how to run and operate the machine. So right now you see all of these green uh, dots. That means that it is level and ready to operate. Um, so what you're gonna need to do um, now, I'm gonna control it from uh, down on the trailer. You can flip this over and you have the same control panel in the basket. So once we're all set, ready to go, um, there's gonna be the speed control here. You have to make sure you're pressing one of these speed options um, and whatever function you wanna do. Um, when you're not used to it, sometimes starting with a slower speed helps, but you'll press this in and then you'll actually press the primary boom right here, adjust right here. This is your secondary boom. This one allows you to extend the machine out. This one takes the tilt of actually the, uh, the basket and lifts it up even higher. And then this is the tilt. It does auto level as you go up. Before you can actually uh, raise the outriggers, you do need to make sure you hit both safety switches. So there's one located at the back of the machine right here, which the way this thing went down, it's actually not hitting it just yet. We'll have to tilt it in just a little bit and I'll show you how to do that. And then the other one's right up here at the front. So that one's located just right here. And when you set this right into this cradle, it'll go ahead and actually engage that safety switch right in there. So to tilt the switch back here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just press over here and we're gonna actually tilt it back and it's gonna press that switch if for some reason the ground shifts or it becomes unlevel one of these dots is not leveled out anymore um, and you can't move the machine you can still move the machine there's a safety feature if you're hitting the slow turtle speed in whatever uh, position that you press to go down it will go down for you um, that way you can get yourself to the ground safely um, and figure out what needs to be leveled out so that way you can uh, go back up and continue doing your job. But something important to note is when you actually go into the basket and you're hooking your harnesses to something, you don't want to hook it to this. You want to hook it to this welded ring back here. That has way more strength than this, this aluminum here. This machine is battery powered, so there is a charging cord up here at the front of the machine. Um, you just plug it in. You can run it while it's plugged in. It does have a smart charger, so if you leave it plugged in overnight, it will uh, shut off. 